As we had discussed the different methods of crossman landing to where we could allow the airplane to crab and then correct at the end, or we can start correcting early. If you correct early to where you uh, use your rudder to align the longitudinal axis with the airplane with your landing site, and then use the ailerons to crab into the wind, they call this a side slip. The airplane is already corrected longitudinally with the runway. They call it a side slip. There's also another type of slip and it's called a forward slip. The forward slip is used to lose altitude. Um, you may want to do this if you had an emergency engine out and you arrive at your landing site a slight too, uh, slightly too high and you want to lose altitude rapidly. What you would want to do is consider where is the wind coming from. In this scenario, the wind is coming from the right. So if I force the side of the aircraft into the wind, it would create a great deal of drag and that would cause the aircraft to sink. So what you would want to do is push full left rudder and then right ailerons to still steer the airplane and you're in a complete cross-controlled situation. So be very careful with your pitch attitude because you would not want to stall the airplane like this. So you would push full left rudder in this scenario and right ailerons and allow the airplane to slide sideways through the air. And they call that a forward slip. Once you've lost the appropriate amount of altitude, you can release the controls and then continue for a normal landing. If the wind, for example, was from the uh, front left and you were flying in and you realized you're slightly too high at the last minute, then you would apply full right rudder and left ailerons to slip the airplane through the air and then once you've lost the required amount of altitude, release the controls and then do a normal landing.